Hello everyone, it's Michelle and I'm going to show you how to make a video background for a website in Canva. So if you're curious about how to edit video clips in Canva, this tutorial is for you. To get started, I am on my dashboard. I'm going to go over to this purple button here that says create a design and I am going to go for a custom size. I could easily have clicked the video, but 1920 by 1080 is a pretty standard video size dimension ratio of 16 by nine. So I'm just going to click the create new design button and then I will be in our editor. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna make a video background of a bunch of short clips and it'll be for a website that is for dog training. So I am going to navigate over to the videos tab and I'm gonna find some quick clips on dog training. So I can just easily click on a video and it will bring it over to the canvas. When I do that, it doesn't always fill the canvas. So a little trick that I like to do, I'll just delete this here, is when I pull the video over, I like to snap it towards the edge and it will fill the canvas. It basically just sets it as a background. So I like this clip. I'm going to add another one. Let's add, so let's use this clip here. Again, I'll just pull over to the side. I'm gonna add a page. And then if I want to see if I can find some more videos, I can easily type dog training in the search box and see what else comes up. So I'm gonna use this video and then we're gonna find one more and I might just go back to recently used videos and see if there was any other ones that I found. Let's go with this one. So now that I've got four videos selected and you can see that I've got them on four different pages, when you have a video clip on a page, when you go to export it later, you'll be able to see it as one complete video. So it's not going to individually export four separate videos, it will be one video. And I can also see that right now, the total runtime is a minute 30 seconds. For a website background, I want it to be a little bit shorter, probably in the more like the 20 to 30 second range. So we'll start to edit these clips down. I'll select the first one and I can see that this clip is 17.1 is seconds. If I click on this icon, I can see the entire video, but I also can use these sliders to trim it a bit. So I might trim it, I'm gonna aim for five seconds for each video and let's see how that looks. I might just use the last five seconds. So I'll make that adjustment there. You can see how that looks. And I like that. So I'm going to hit done on that video. So the first one's done. So the second video is currently 23 seconds. So I will edit this one down and we'll pull it somewhere in the middle here. I'm looking for about five seconds. We might wait for him to catch the ball and then I will adjust that there. For the next clip, let's take a look at this. This is currently 31 seconds. So I will edit this one down and we will make that one five seconds as well. If you're not sure how I know that it's five seconds, I can tell by this little indicator on the top left-hand side of our editing bar here. So I will click done for that one. And then our final video, same thing, 18 seconds, way too long. So we will, let's just use the first five seconds of this. So now I can see that I've got a video that totals 20 seconds by the purple bar indicator showing next to the download button. So the next step is to export this video. So once you have all of the clips that you like put together and arranged, if I thought that maybe this video should come third, I can also make that adjustment by moving it down. Whatever order you have the videos on the pages is the order that they will export on your video. So I'm going to hit download and you can see that I've got the MP4 video file type and that's exactly what I want. So I will hit download. 
All right, now that that's complete, that's all that really is needed in Canva to create a quick video. Now, keep in mind, you can actually upload your own video clips and edit them within the Canva editor if you'd like. You don't have to use the stock video clips that Canva provides. You could definitely just use your own. So I'm gonna hit X and let's show you next what this looks like on a website. So after I downloaded the video, I uploaded it to my Vimeo account. If you are going to have a web background on a website, it's recommended to use a service, like it could be YouTube or Vimeo works great. I personally prefer Vimeo, so that's what I use. I have the video uploaded. Just wanted to show you a quick tip. When you are going to embed it into the background of a website, you would come over to this distribution tab, you'd click that guy, and then you'd scroll down a bit and you would find the video file links so that you can put a high def video background. You would just click this copy link and then you will have the link that you need to embed in your website. Now, I will show you this example on a sales page. As an example, this video was intended for a dog training website. So you can see what that video looks like here. So this is just embedded into the background and it's got our four quick clips and I think it looks great. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, please subscribe. I'd love your support. And as always, if there's something specific you want to see, let me know and I can film a tutorial on it. That's all for now. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.